Hey guys, so uh, it's a rainy day in Oregon. We'll see how long I can film without it pouring on me. But I kind of wanted to show you um, my body. Um, a couple people have talked about it looks like I've lost weight, and I have. I mean, with the cyst removal, it had two liters of fluid in it, so I mean, it was pretty large. Um, I, I try not to focus on the numbers because it just messes with my head, so. Uh, but definitely I can feel it in my body. Uh, I want to show you too. I have my wound packing here so uh, You can kind of see that hangs off my body, but uh, This shirt, I mean this shirt used to be tight on me and now it's loose um, You know I can tell in my face and uh, So I can definitely tell I'm losing weight and that feels good um, but I think that's part of everything I've gone through the last couple months. Um, I did go to the surgeon yesterday and uh, my wound has what's called a wick in it, um, which is uh, strips of like a long strip of gauze that's packed in there really tight and kind of is hanging out and that's meant to draw fluid out. Uh, so she pulled the wick out and it had quite a lot of fluid in it, of course. I mean, this this wound has had lots of fluid in it from the beginning, and um, it, it really puzzled her. All the cultures keep coming back negative for bacteria or anything, so uh, she irrigated it and packed it again. Um, she packed it and then, it. I mean, literally, when it didn't have any packing in it, um, it was just sitting there like draining and uh, obviously that's a concern so she packed it and then she actually put a second wick in there you know to pack it even more um, I feel like it looks better today but I don't know if that's wishful thinking as well uh, she's having me go to wound care today and get an assessment they'll take pictures and and kind of give their opinion on it uh, and then I'll talk with her on Wednesday and um, hopefully I'll be back into surgery uh, for gastric bypass on Friday um, towards the end of the appointment she did talk about with this much fluid um, it might be something inside that uh, broke apart um, which would have to be repaired surgically anyway and she said it's hard to know uh, you know without being in there but with this much fluid that's not usual for just an infection and I'm on high antibiotics that I've been taking religiously and uh, my blood sugars have been low I've been testing them very consistently um, so I kind of feel like maybe that's what it is because this has been consistent orange fluid uh, from the beginning so um, you know, I'm nervous to go back under anesthesia, of course. This will be a fourth time in two months, and um, absolutely that makes me nervous. But I don't want to give up yet, and I feel like I've come this far, and uh, I want to give it one more shot. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what else. I went to the support group last night. Uh, at my bariatric center, which is once a month. I wish it was more, um, but they talked about yoga for large bodies, and so I took my niece with me so that she could kind of learn some yoga moves, but I don't think she was as into it as I was hoping, so um, she said it was kind of too, like, hippie la-la for her, um, and, which is okay. And uh, let's see. I'm getting excited for Christmas. I put up my Christmas decorations and you know, it's bittersweet. I wish I was feeling better and I wish I was working and around my coworkers and friends and I miss everybody. Uh, this is always a fun time too because the patients would come in and bring us nice things and um, it's just a happy time. So uh, that's hard, but it'll be good and yeah, I think it's gonna be a good Christmas. The boys, my nephews, are getting older. Uh, 
James will be six in February and Eli will be five in February and James lost his two front teeth and so every time he laughs he squeals and it's just so funny you know with his big smile and his two front teeth gone and it just cracks me up so I got to see them last night for a while and that always makes me feel really good so uh, as far as like emotionally I've just been working you know with ther my therapist and trying to get as many emotions out as I can you know, my anxiety is very high right now. I'm not sleeping very good. Uh, often you'll find me at fa on Facebook late, late at night because I can't sleep. And uh, just a lot on my mind. So I'm trying really, really hard uh, to have faith. And uh, like my nutritionist says, this is just another chapter for my book. I've always wanted to write a book about my story and, uh, and help uh, morbidly obese people, especially people that have been 500 pounds or more like I was. Um, I think that's so important. So anyway guys, I'm going to let you go. I uh, go to wound care at 3 o'clock today and uh, we'll see what they say. Um, it, it, it doesn't hurt necessarily, I mean if I'm... Um, walking a lot sometimes I'll kind of hold that pressure in which feels a little bit better but then I feel like I look funny walking holding my stomach um, but when she changed the uh, sorry there's a bug out here when she changed the dressings and pulled everything out it didn't hurt I could kind of feel it and it felt funny but um, I didn't have any pain so that was nice so anyway I will talk to you guys oh let me show you my nails I don't know if you can see those so I did black base with gold glitter and then on the accent nail I did a gold base with this black glitter I have I'm not sure if I love the black glitter um, I feel like it kind of looks like little bugs or like I spilled a pepper shaker or something um, but I really do like the black with the gold so anyway it was fun to play and uh, that's it I'll talk to you guys later Bye.